Macro Bruh. cheaters. TikTok clans. Fast editors. They all have one thing in common. Making things float. Otherwise known as making things go invisible. That's right, they're literally breaking the game by making builds go invisible. And if you want to make things invisible, even if you're slow at editing or not that good at the game, because you're a little noob, keep watching. Yo, what is going on boys? In today's video, I'll be showing y'all how to make things invisible on a dime so that you can do it first try every single time just like your daddy spades. And it doesn't matter if you're slow at editing or if you're fast at editing because I'm going to be showing you the secret on how to do it because I know it can be hard for some control players to do compared to keyboard, but don't worry. Also guys, if you haven't already, like and subscribe with notice on in the next five seconds or else nothing will happen. Sorry! James Charles is going to kiss you on the lips and I wouldn't risk it, so do it now! But yeah guys, let's just get right into this quick tutorial. Alright guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your builds go invisible. <laughs> nah guys, I'm just joking around. Alright, now that we're in creative, let me just get right to the basics. So to make a build invisible, you're actually gonna need to do two things. Thing one is going to be editing consistently without messing up once. And thing two is actually going to be to keeping your builds at 1 HP. Now let me show you what that looks like. Also, you can only make things invisible with brick or metal, so take that in consideration. But I would suggest metal for beginners because it's a lot easier than brick in my opinion. So let's just start off with a wall, for example. All you have to do is just edit. And just keep editing consistently and you can't mess up once and as you see the HP of the wall is staying at one it's not going above so you're just gonna do this and eventually boom it went invisible I just broke it on accident but it went invisible now what just happened so basically all you have to do is just pick one tile or one edit it doesn't matter as long as you're editing consistently and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit fast or if it's a little bit slow as long as it's consistent and not too slow and the hp of the build is staying at one and not going above you're in the clear but that's part one you want to nail that before you get to part two so let me show you that it doesn't matter what speed you do it at i'm gonna do it right now really fast and really slow for you guys so this is me doing it really fast boom bad guys that was really fast so let me show you really slow And just like that, it's invisible, guys. But yeah, as you guys just saw right there, it doesn't matter if you edit really fast or really slow. As long as you keep it consistent and the build stays at 1 HP, it really doesn't matter. But I will give you a good analogy. Think of walking, jogging, and running. Running being editing really fast, jogging being editing mildly slow, and walking editing really slow. If you're walking, you're not going to be able to make the build invisible. But if you're jogging and running, that's when you can. So when you're editing slow, just make sure that you're not too slow or else it really won't work. Because when you're editing too slow, it will go above 1 HP. But yeah, let me show you that I can make every single build invisible so you can see that this works so in front of me i have a wall a cone a ramp and a floor i'm just gonna make everyone invisible so you can see i'm gonna do it fast because i am a fast editor and i edit really fast so i'm just gonna do it fast for you guys boom wall invisible And boom, cone invisible. I won't be doing the ramp because I can't really do ramps. Ramps are the hardest things, but don't worry because no one really does ramps. But yeah, you can make this invisible. I'm just not going to be doing it because I can't. And when I say I can't, it's because I'm not good at it, not because it's impossible. But let's just skip this one and move on to the floor. And boom, first try, invisible. But yeah, as you can see, it does work. So basically, all you got to do again is just keep a consistent pace. Keep the build at 1 HP, not higher. Because the second it goes higher, you gotta restart. The second you mess up an edit, you have to restart. But I haven't gotten into timing. So when exactly do you let go for the build to go invisible? Well, there's three signs. Sign number one. For sign number one, usually what happens is the HP would go to like 500. It just boosts automatically. As soon as you see that happen, you just let go and it's invisible. Sign number two. For sign number two, you're sometimes going to edit really fast and you're just gonna notice it just the build just breaks. Like the pieces of the build actually fall off. Like the build just breaks completely. At that point, you just want to let go, not touch anything, and it will be invisible. Moving on to sign number three, this is actually going to be timing. So usually if you time your editing to be around 12 seconds to 20 seconds of editing without messing up consistently, and then you let go in that time frame, it will usually be invisible. The time I would stick to because it is the most reliable is 15 seconds. So exactly after 15 seconds, just let go of your builds. Now let's say even if you are slow at editing and you're not fast, but you still can't do it, let me show you a little trick that I just did. So as you saw earlier, I was actually pressing A and B back and forth, and I was editing really fast. So that's basically because I binded my edit to a and my select to b and i had edit on release on for that reason i was just pressing a and b a and b going back and forth let me show you what that would look like in the settings so all you do hop into your settings go to the controller options it doesn't have to be a and b it can be your preference i just use a and b because i like that more but let's just go with a and b for this one so i'm gonna make a 
my edits. I'm going to clear B for this one. Then we're going to hop over to the edit controls, make B, select. And then make sure, of course, that you have edit on release on. Now, what that will do, of course, is if I press A and then B, A and then B, A and then B, you see it edits. So all you got to do is spam A, B, A, B, A, B. And <laughs> just look at how crazy that is. Like, bro, like, what is that? That looks like I'm macroing. But yeah, that's for people that really, really are having a tough time or even people that just want a quick and easy way to do it like me. You guys can even make yourself float, which is absolutely crazy. It's pretty much going to conclude the video. I mean, that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, I'll pretty much conclude the video for today. If you did enjoy, let me know the like, of course, and subscribe to the channel with noties on if you haven't already and if you're new around here. Also, guys, I will be streaming on Twitch a lot more right now. It's twitch.tv slash I'm Spades. So go check it out. Drop a follow because I will be streaming there a lot. Also, comment the word wall one. That way I know you made it this far in the video and you stuck all the way through. And also, guys, if you have any ideas for videos or you want help with anything at all, leave a comment down below and I might just make a video on it. Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.